Today I'm going to review a few of my favorite pieces of outerwear from Club Ride Apparel. Let's start with my favorite piece of gear. This is the Motive shirt. This is the most breathable piece of clothing I've ever worn. It is super lightweight and air blows through it like you're not even wearing it. I don't know how to describe it other than it feels like you're riding with nothing on, but it's a collared button-up shirt. I've worn this to work where we have business casual and people have complimented me on it. Pretty amazing that one of my favorite riding shirts can be worn to out to dinner or to a meeting at work or something like that. This shirt, I think everybody should own one of them. Club Ride doesn't pay me to say this, I just really, really like this gear. It's very unique, it's very different from the rest of the riding gear that you see out there. These breathable panels, it's hard to see there. If I get some light behind it, you can see through it. it the wind just blows right through it. Now a lot of the time you see me in my videos wearing my sun shirt with the hood on it. That's a fishing shirt and it's a UPF 50 sunblock shirt. I wear that because I live in the desert and I don't want to get skin cancer basically and I hate lathering up sunblock and then going out in the dust and being totally grimy. So when I'm going out for shorter rides or it's too hot to wear that or I'm not going to be in the sun a whole lot, I grab the Motive. This shirt I wear all the time. I would love to see a long sleeve Motive, even with a hood. I mean, that would be my dream shirt. Uh, mainly because it'd get the sun protection, but it would still let the air breathe through it. My gray shirt that I usually wear in my videos is not from Club Ride. It doesn't breathe very well, but it does block the sun. So anyway, I really like this. You would think that the black would be hot even in the middle of summer. It's not. For some strange reason, this shirt doesn't get hot. It's got snap-on buttons. They're not, uh, they're plastic snaps to keep them light. And they snap off real easily. It's got a shirt pocket up here. And a glasses wipe right here. It's also got a small zip pocket in the back for a phone or a wallet or keys or something like that. Anyway, I started with this because this is my absolute favorite. I would give it 10 out of 10 stars. There's nothing I would change about it. Now, it is a little bit more delicate than even like a t-shirt. I went down, I've got two of these. I crashed and hit my shoulder. Let me find the rip in that for you. Here it is. And I was able to rip it just slightly. I still wear this all the time. Um, but because it is a thinner, lighter material, it ripped a little bit easy. But uh, So I don't wear this one to work, but it still rides great. Anyway, I think anyone who rides, who gets hot on rides needs to try one of these. They are amazing. Club Ride has a variety of thicknesses on their shirts. This is a new West jersey, and it is one step thicker than the Motive that I just showed you but thinner than this shirt that I've got on right now. So you can kind of fine tune how lightweight you want it to feel or if you want it to be a little bit, I don't wanna say warmer, it is warmer. These breathe a little bit less when they're the thicker shirts, but man, they look so cool. But they're still meant to be ridden in, they still have the glasses wiped, they still have the pocket in them. Um, that's what's pretty cool about it for me. I really like the style, it suits my style and my age and um, I wear this stuff when I'm not riding as well. And it's pretty cool to be able to go riding and then go out with your friends afterwards and not be in a skin tight spandex suit or look like you just got back from a sponsored video shoot. You just look like a normal person. Anyway, this new West Jersey is a great Jersey. It's typical of what you would find in other companies, except the fit. I like the fit a lot better. And um, yeah, it's just kind of a typical Jersey, zero complaints. I would give this a 9 out of 10. I like it. It's got these underarm mesh panels, which really help breathe when it gets warm. And uh, these shirts don't get stinky. I like that too. This shirt, this shirt is the Dirt Surfer short sleeve shirt. I really enjoy this shirt. It's fun. It's uh, It tells people that I'm a mountain biker. It's got little mountain bikes on it along with the pine cones. 
and uh, it's a little bit less serious than some of the other shirts but it still looks nice as a jersey it's a little bit thick so it gets a little bit warmer in the summer months so this is more of a fall jersey for me to be honest most of the time i'm wearing the motive jersey and if i could only have two of these shirts i would buy two motives they're that good i wear them all the time but for a lifestyle shirt i really like this it lets people know that i'm a mountain biker and then i have fun without looking like i just came off the mountain now let's talk about shorts this is the mountain surf short i love it it's my favorite uh cycling short i've ever worn before this i used to really like troy lee shorts but what happened is those they use a nice stretch material but they the crotch was way too big and they would get caught on the seat going forward and backwards and i had a hard time with those these shorts fit me really well and they look like the type of shorts i would buy anyway if i weren't riding they are a stretchy material they have really good pockets in them. I wish these pockets, these side pockets were an inch deeper because I like to put my cell phone in there. But they've got this really neat pocket right here on the back of each leg. And I put GoPro batteries in there so I keep my charged ones in this one and my used ones in this one. Um, they're meant to be worn with liners, but there aren't any liners sewn in. They breathe well, they've got these inner Velcro strips so you can change how tight they sit on you. There are no uncomfortable seams. They put the seams in the right place, and I've worn these out as well, and people can't tell they're riding shorts. They hug the, the curve of my legs well without being baggy or without looking like they're painted on, and I really like that. That's a hard balance to find. I have big quads and big calves, and shorts either look enormous on me like i'm drowning in them or they look really really tight on me and these are a great fit they stretch when you ride on them and these are my number one recommendation for shorts there's a lot of good shorts out there in the market and i recommend you try them on before you buy but in your research definitely try these out i really really like them one downside as you can see here is they're not as durable as some uh, this was the same crash I went down on the other one and these have ripped They do use rip stop material though it appears because my rips haven't gotten any bigger and I still ride with these But uh, they did get torn up in one crash So if you crash a lot or if you ride in he heavy sticks and stuff you might want to get something Stiffer a little bit thicker a little bit more durable for my use I would rather have something lightweight and stretchy like this these are the only shorts I ride now. They are absolutely incredible. They're just, you put them on and you forget that you're wearing them. I've never once had them snag on the seat um, and they stretch when they need to. It's, I just forget that I'm wearing them. And when gear can just kind of disappear and I can focus on my activity, that's how I know it's great gear. Let's talk a little bit about the inners. Club Ride has an interesting philosophy on their inners. They sell three different inners and they base their inners on how long you're gonna be on the bike. This is kind of the medium range. This is the gunslinger. This is meant for two hour rides. Ironically, this has become my favorite liner as well. I still use liners from other companies from time to time, but this is meant for two hours and I actually like it for way longer rides. I took this on the whole enchilada on an eight hour ride. Once again, it, I forgot I was wearing it. What I really like about it is you know, all of these shorts have pads inside of them, but these ones are nice and narrow. A lot of them come out way too far right here. And so when I'm pedaling, I can kind of feel them rubbing the inside of my thighs. This one feels more narrow and more, just a little bit more ergonomic. One weird thing is the back kind of sticks, it comes up super high. So when you've got it on, it kind of pokes out in the back just a little bit. That's a little bit strange, but you kind of get used to the feel of that. But if I could change one thing, I would bring this down an inch or two. Maybe I need to try the lighter duty ones that are meant for, you know, one or two hour rides. But I'd like to try all three just to kind of see what the differences are. Anyway, that's my take on Club Ride Apparel. I like the classy look to them. I'm not a... I'm not a fashion person. I just like to have fun on my bike. But when I do have to go to work meetings or we go out to a restaurant, I like not looking like I just got off the mountain. And aside from the looks, the performance is completely there. I highly, highly recommend 
Every rider that rides in warm weather have one of these Motive jerseys. They are absolutely incredible. There's nothing like them on the market. If you want to learn more about Club Ride stuff, you can go to clubrideapparel.com, research, and I'll bet your local shop has some. They've been around forever and they know what they're doing and their clothing wears even better than it looks. <laughs>